Hello, and thanks for listening in. Today, we are going to be talking about an add-on in Google Sheets called the Data Connector for Salesforce. It's a really, really awesome add-on. So the first thing, when you open a new sheet, it says click to enable the add-on. So we need to enable the add-on for the sheet. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to click to enable it. As you can see uh, in the bottom, it had the little thing that said working. So now that it's working, we're going to go ahead and click open. So the data connector for Salesforce actually integrates with Salesforce to be able to bring data into Google Sheets and then be able to push data back to Salesforce. And it does this in four different operations. It has reports. So if you have a report in Salesforce, you can import that data from Salesforce um, report into the sheet. The other one it has is import. Now, import is import into Google Sheets, not import into Salesforce. So you're actually maybe thinking of it as a get information from Salesforce. The third one is update. So if I need to insert, update, or upsert information into Salesforce using this sheet, and then um, we have delete data, if you want to delete data from Salesforce. Now, the first thing is I was already pre-logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the hamburger menu, and you can see my log information. I'm actually going to log out of Salesforce to show you how easy it is to be able to log in here. So the first thing we're going to do is go data connector for Salesforce. We're going to click open. And it's going to check my login. And you can see I'm not logged in. So now it's going to say, would you like to log into production, sandbox, or custom? In this case, we're going to actually use a sandbox. We're going to go ahead and click authorize. Now in a different window, it popped up. So you can see it's waiting for an OAuth authorization. I'm going to go ahead and click allow. And now I have been authorized. Perfect. I can close this page. So now my data connector for Salesforce has been updated. It's now with the right login. So the, what we're going to focus on today is import and update. This is going to be um, very powerful for you to be able to use. So the first thing we're going to do is click import. And we're actually going to go through, you see here at the bottom, it says SQL editor. We're going to get to that last. But at first, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of manually go through um, and show how you can do step by step. And then we'll get into some advanced stuff with the SQL editor. So first, we're just going to select account. So it's saying select the source object. I want to get my accounts. And what are the fields that I want to import? Well, I want account name. And maybe I'm working on some billing info. So maybe billing city, billing country, let's get state in here, street and zip, perfect. Oh, I also need my ID, right? Because we wanna be able to update the accounts when we're done. So now we have our fields, we're gonna click next. And now I can filter. Um, so I might want to be able to filter where country, billing country is not null. Um, but we have equals, does not equal, is null, is not null, contains, or does not contain. So we're going to say country. We know what country is, at least. And then if we want to set a max rows import, you can. We're going to go ahead and click get data. Now you're going to see this, and we'll talk about it a little bit more um, when we do our second import into Google Sheets. But as you can see here, it says all data from the active spreadsheet will be replaced. So we're going to go ahead and click replace. And all of the data that might have been in our sheet was replaced with the new data that we have here, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want. So we're going to go ahead and fill in some information here. And we're just going to do a little bit of information. Perfect. I think that's good enough. So instead of import, um, we actually want to update, right? We want to update information in Salesforce. So we click update. And we want to update an account. And you, you can see here we can insert, update, or upsert. We're going to click update. You can see it selects our ID column G, which is great. Um, our results column is H. So we're just going to come here and put results. But one thing that you'll notice is um, only this row has been highlighted. So if we scroll up, it says row three, count one. Well, this isn't good. We want to be able to update both of them. Well. It's very easy to be able to do. All you have to do is highlight the data that you actually want to be able to insert or update or upsert, and then come here and click, re click refresh the selected range. 
when you do that, it's going to go and it's going to look at the sheet. And now you can see, hey, we have a new um, list here. And so now we have rows two to three and our count is two. So even if you have um, a really big sheet and you only want to update one or two rows, you can absolutely do that, which is very nice. Um, we have our ID column still here as G and our results column as H, and we're updating accounts. So this is perfect. We're going to click Next. And you can see here it mapped all of the columns to the field. Um, you can go ahead and um, be able to add any field you want. So as we can take a look, we can map it to any field here. Name was correct, so we're going to stay with name. Um, but it's a very easy way to map, hey, I want this column to go to this field. You can see here, we're not going to um, insert results. And ID is already mapped up above to our ID column, B8, BI. Oh, well, that changed on us. We're going to edit this, and our ID column should be G. So let's click Next. There we go. Our ID column is G. Our results column is H. And again, I don't want to import results. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Execute. Are you sure you want to update two items? Yes, I do. And we are updating. And we'll see what our results are. Great, they've been updated. So if we actually go to Salesforce, we have an account here, Plushico. Our billing address was United States. I'll go ahead and refresh my screen here. We have Einstein on his bike on our new Spring 19 sandbox. And we'll simply click Details. And we can see Naperville, Illinois. If we go to the Salesforce record, we can see here the billing address is the United States. We're simply going to click Refresh. We'll click on Details. And now you can see San Francisco, California, which is perfect. So if we come back, um, what we're going to do now is we want to import one more time. And this time we're going to use the SQL editor. And in this case, I already have some SQL written. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in. What I'm saying is I want to select ID name, and then I also want to select ID, first name, last name from contacts from account. So this is going to give me the account IDs, the account names, and then all the contacts for those accounts, the first name and last name and ID of those contacts. So we're going to click Execute. And as you can see, it doesn't have me step through any other parts. As you notice, all of the information in the sheet got refreshed. So when you do it through the SQL editor, it does not uh, warn you. It is expecting that you know that. Um, but all of the information does get refreshed. So we don't have our accounts from before. Um, but now what we have is we have all of our contacts and all of, our, um, all of the accounts that they are associated with. So if we wanted to be able to update any information, we can do that. The other nice piece about the SQL editor is I can also go up. So if I wanted to say, for instance, I want to select all the contacts. So we're going to say select ID, first name, last name. And then I want account.name from contact. If I click Execute, you can see account.name is here as well. So it doesn't have to be an actual field on the object. It can be a field. Um, that is related to that object via a lookup relationship to be able to go get that data as well, which is really nice. You're not limited to the fields on the object. You can do the um, related objects fields as well. So that is our demo of the data connector for Salesforce. I hope it helps you and hope it uh, allows you to be able to uh, work faster and, and be able to not have to use so many different applications to be able to update information from Salesforce or get information out of it. Thanks and have a wonderful day.